Good morning. Our nation today is mourning the loss of a brave man, another brave man lost in the fight in Afghanistan. We are mourning the loss of Sergeant Todd Langley, who was killed yesterday in Afghanistan. He was a commando, one of the best of our best in the Australian Defence Force. He was a decorated soldier and a very brave man on his fifth tour of Afghanistan, having been deployed overseas on other operations as well. As you've just heard from the new Chief of the Defence Force, he was a brave and exceptional soldier, very highly regarded by his mates and friends in the Defence Force. Todd Langley was not just a soldier, he was also a family man. And there is a family in Australia today who is grieving his loss. This is for them a time of tears and a time of pain. Today, I want to say to them that we respect their desire for privacy, but we do want them to know that the nation stands with them during this time of incredible loss and grief. And we honour the service of Todd Langley for the nation. In addition, his regiment would of course feel this blow very keenly. It's not the first loss that they have seen in Afghanistan. So our thoughts too are with his mates, the mates he fought alongside, the mates he trained with, the mates he would have had a sense of family with. They too will be grieving his loss today and our thoughts are with them. A second soldier lies wounded and our best wishes are with him for a speedy recovery. We obviously want him to understand we are thinking of him as he faces up to this time of pain and challenge. And we are thinking of his family too, who would have heard this news overnight that he is wounded, now in hospital, receiving the best of care. These are tough days for our nation in Afghanistan. And we've seen these tough days before, and there will be tough days to come. But we are making progress in our mission in Afghanistan. Our mission is clear, our timeline is clear, and we are making progress. As we make progress, I do want to say a few words about the Special Operations Task Group work that Sergeant Langley was pursuing in Afghanistan. This work is vital to our mission in Afghanistan. It's hard, but it is work that is countering the insurgency. It is work that is eliminating safe havens. It's work that is detecting weapons stores. This is important work to give us the space and time to train the Afghan National Army and to ensure that the people of Afghanistan are in a position to take over responsibility for security of their nation. Today, I understand that on another day of loss, many Australians would be thinking to themselves, why are we still in Afghanistan? Uh, they would be feeling the weight of the toll of the number of casualties we have seen. To those Australians, I offer this reassurance. We are very clear that our national interest lies in pursuing our mission in Afghanistan. We are very clear what that mission is. We are very clear about the timeline, about transitioning security leadership to the Afghan nation by the end of 2014. And we are making progress in that mission as is so often spoken about by soldiers who have been there on the ground. Can I conclude by saying on this very hard day, our loving thoughts are with the family and friends of Sergeant Todd Langley. Our thoughts too are with the soldier who is wounded and his family as they struggle with this news and as he receives medical care in Afghanistan.